Must I have the cam on? Yes, you must have the cam on. Aren't you a proud Zionist? Yes, I'm proud. Um, yes, so keep the camera on. I wanted to ask you, <clears throat> do you do you think what Israel does is wrong? Uh, it's a fact that what Israel does is wrong. I don't need to think it. It's a fact. Okay, Let me okay. ask you a question. With respect, wait, one, wait. And okay. uh, what Hamas did, uh, was that wrong? Can I ask you a question? Okay, I'm going to yeah, speak yeah. now. Yeah. Now, do you believe that killing innocent civilians is wrong? Yes, I do. Okay, then you believe what Israel is doing is wrong. Now, you ask about Hamas. If Hamas were killed innocent civilians that had nothing to do with, with fighting, especially women and children, that is wrong from an Islamic point of view. Absolutely, 100%. I'm consistent. Like, we follow our religion, our teachings. We would not defend someone doing something wrong and pretend that they're not doing something wrong. But, but what you're missing is, is this. This is, this is what you're missing. The fact that Hamas did not exist uh, in 1948, when 700... I know, Benjamin, I know, I know uh, for a fact, sorry for interrupting you, but uh -huh. uh, Israel wanted to make West Bank and Gaza to not be together, so they paid Hamas. I've heard something like that. Yeah, okay. Uh, whether they paid Hamas or not, I'm not going to make claims I cannot prove. My point is very simple. Look. Before Hamas exists in 1948, they killed thousands of people. They displaced hundreds of thousands of people. They did all of these di different things with Hamas or without Hamas. So anyone who thinks this has got to do with Hamas is uh, definitely knows nothing about, is illiterate about history. And the fact is, even the UN, which is a group of uh, liars anyways, even those UN, which, which the West pretends to follow their moral framework, they themselves admit that what Israel is doing is wrong. They admit, they will tell you the stats that, that in <clears throat> Palestine, the number of, of Jewish people, how it jumped from, from 10%, you know, in 1917, and in 1948 became 30, over 33 or 35%. People coming with ships coming from, from Europe to take over a land that is not theirs and, and make illegal settlements that the UN itself will tell you that they made illegal, illegal settlements. The UN itself will tell you that they're killing journalists. The UN itself will tell you that they're killing innocent civilians. The UN itself will tell you they're bombing civilians indiscriminately. The UN itself will tell you that there's no Hamas in the West Bank, but they're still killing but, people. Okay, but, but tell me, why isn't your Muslim brothers and sisters speaking out? South Africa did, but I ha haven't seen none Muslim country doing the same. Yeah, when you say your brothers and sisters, you're talking about the, the civilians and there's governments, right? I don't Dauma, run a government. Dauma, Dauma. Yeah, one second, one second. I don't run a government, and nor does like majority of Muslims run governments. And a lot of Muslims live and, and they, they are certain, they live under certain leadership that they don't necessarily agree with. And, and for you to think, let me just put it very simply, for you to think that countries in the Middle East do not have an already an influence from Zionist leaders, then you will be living in delusion. There is, there is many countries that you would look at that you think that they have their own uh, sovereignty. My friend, my friend, I live uh, with uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome. I take okay. medication, I take Xanax and I take... Uh -huh. Olazapine and Cetraline. Okay. So trust me, I've seen many bad things. I'm not here to to be a enemy to you. I actually really like your uh, channel. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a Zionist. I want. Can you define what Zionism is? For me, it's Israel to be free. But Two the, states free solution. from what? Two free states from what? to. 50% for Palestine, 50% for Jews. Okay, well, that's not the definition of Zionism. Okay. The, the Zion, no Zionist wants two-state solution. You cannot, you cannot, if you call yourself a Zionist and you say you want two-state solutions, you're using the wrong term. Okay. Because no Zion, Zionist wants the whole land of Palestine for themselves. That's what, that's uh -huh. the definition of Zionism. They oh, want okay. their own state in the whole land of Palestine. They want to displace, remove every Palestinian, every single Palestinian to the end. Not a single one left in that land. But not only that land, that they're, they're moving because the land of Canaan is not just the land of Palestine, but they're starting with Palestine. They're moving into Yemen and Syria and all of that step by step and Jordan, and Jordan based on what the land of Canaan is for them. So you're not a Zionist if you think of two-state solution, number one. Number two, you cannot claim that you want Israelis to be free when literally Israelis have an army, tanks, and tens of thousands of navy, uh, seals, yeah, but and, and ships, you, and, and air tanks, and, and, and airplanes, and, me, and, and Palestinians not, have nothing. 
going to be free from money. me, it's not Jews that control Israel. It's European and USA. No, you, you're, you're completely mistaken. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Because if you were to, to, to check the IPAC, for example, which is a political party which runs America, literally, which has the biggest lobby in America, it's all, it's all Zionist control, funded and controlled by Zionists. Yeah. This is not even, I'm not, this is on their website. You can just Google it, you know? It's not something I'm saying like a conspiracy or something. It's literally if someone Googles it, I'll check. No, no, I the believe thing, you. Yeah. The Americans are the ones who are being controlled, to be honest. It's not that the, the America is the one controlling it. But the thing is, you cannot call yourself a Zionist, as I said. But, and you say that that you want them to be free when no one is imprisoning them. They are the one who is impri uh, they are the ones imprisoning two million people in Gaza in an air prison where they cannot have food, air, internet, or anything. And they're being killed. But every why day. doesn't why doesn't Saudi Arabia help people in Gaza by great sending question, great question, by, great by question. sending money or or food or water or what's stopping them? Uh, great question. And I'm not going to only say Saudi because Arabia. Because me, say, I've say, been I I've yeah. been in Saudi Arabia. I got Israeli passport. Okay. I had no problems to enter Saudi Arabia. But okay. Muslims, they can do the same. Just like the uh, all of the Jewish people that came to Palestine had no problem entering Palestine because Palestinians at that time opened their, their arms for them, opened I their know, houses for them. And then, and then they ended up kicking those Palestinians from their own homes. So the thing is this, look, when you say, why is this country not helping? Why is My point is to single out a specific country is, a, is inconsistent. I believe every Muslim country has a responsibility there because if one country does not act, but, then but it's what, then the responsibility. What, wait, 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 wait. Then the responsibility moves to the other Muslim country. If that other country doesn't act, then it, it moves to the other country. So I completely agree with you. Why are but, they not acting? I completely why, agree. With, why I share the same think, sentiment. More than you do, even. Yes. Why yes. do you think they don't act? Or they are I, I answered you before. Or... I answered you before. I said to think that uh, governments that are in Muslim lands yeah. have no influence. They're not being influenced uh -huh. by Zionists. Is naive. That's what I'm, that's what the point that I was making. I believe that that it is almost very difficult, if not impossible, for someone to reach become a president in a country without already being approved by certain individuals. Let me put it to you: No one can be just a Muslim leader in a Muslim country without already being uh, approved, put, uh, quote unquote, by certain individuals. Let me just put it very generally for you. So uh, why? Because uh, Zionists know very well, like if if there are good leaders or correct leaders or if Muslims unite around I've them, been, they're not going to have safety. They're not going to have safety. How are you going to have safety if the countries around them can I've attack been them uh, in Gaza with military and my brothers in arms and we took out families in the middle of the night and uh, we took pictures of the kids and the uh, parents and... Okay. So I don't lie. I and uh, I started to question myself about Zionism. Mm -hmm. It's a national thing. It's not. It got nothing to do with Judaism. And okay, do uh, you yeah. have do you have a, a Jewish family? A Jew, do, you, do you have people there? Is that what you're saying? Half half. Half half. Yeah. 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 Okay. So look, this is the thing. Like you, I, I think a lot of Jewish people would call themselves Zionists just because other people call themselves Zionists. They don't do they don't do like their own research and check actually what's going on, see the massacres that are taking place. You said yourself you went to Gaza and you saw. That's why it changed you, made you question actually what you believe what you've been told by the Israeli Brother, media. Uh, trust me, I cried many times because mm -hmm. I saw the children, they they were scared. Mm -hmm. And we coming in with heavy weapons into their home. Just were you in the army? Were you, were you in the Israeli army? Yes, I was in the Israeli army. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and we took pictures and we uh, searched for weapons. And sometimes we took in dogs to the house. And mm -hmm. the children get scared, you know. Mm -hmm. So I, don't, I didn't feel good for that. And I hope God will forgive me. But it was my job. I served five years. I did one year training, then I served for, for the idea. Well, th this is the thing. It's and the uh, thing I don't understand, Orthodox mm -hmm. Jews and you guys, you are really close. Mm -hmm. And still there is war. So mm -hmm. I don't blame the Orthodox Jews. I blame mm -hmm. the other people, Europeans. and. Okay. 
I'm yeah, not so gonna lie to you. Before, for for like five, six years ago, I hated Arabs. I hated mm-hmm. not only Arabs, mm-hmm. immigrants. I I was like a fascist. But don't you agree that this this is what they're being to, what is being taught anyways in Israel? Like people are just Arabs are to be hated by. This is what you're taught. Yeah, you yes, taught? I'm not gonna lie. When she, when our children are born, mm-hmm. we tell them. What mm-hmm. what Arabs gonna be? They gonna be our slaves, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, at least you're honest. You're saying these things, right? You're saying the yeah, truth. Yeah, I'm not you've gonna seen... lie to you. I I mm-hmm. I believe in uh, one God, and I started to read about uh, Islam and uh, Judaism. Well, but... I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing. Look, I'll, I'll tell you two things actually. First, can you? Where did you serve? Like, which part in Gaza? Did you go to Gaza that time? Or was it in this conflict or before? No, no, before, like three years ago. Three years ago. Okay. You see, this is because a lot of people think this all started October the seventh. They don't know all of these things have been happening for years and years and years. And no, years. it's been seventy-five years. Yeah. 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 So look, I'll I'll tell you this. Look, a lot of people they 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 might have hatred towards you, and and they're talking like they don't like they, because the what you said you did or go or what they see happening to the children and all of that, but. This is the difference between us as humans acting emotionally and Allah. Allah Azza wa Jalla is a forgiving God, is a is a forgiven and a merciful creator. And the Prophet Isa he told us of a story of of a hundred uh, of a man who killed 99 souls. Then he went to uh, a, a monk and he asked him, is there any forgiveness? So the monk said no. So he killed the monk. Then he went to the person of knowledge and he said to him, is there any forgiveness? So the the person of knowledge told him, who can close the door of repentance for you? No one can stop the forgiveness of God from coming to you. No one can stop God from forgiving you. That's actually what's drawing me to Islam. Because in the Bible, we kill children, women, animals, everything. Yeah, I know, I know. I've read the Bible. I've read like 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 3, for example. Or what Jeremiah was doing, going around, killing the the children, taking over the land from the Canaanites. I know. I understand, like, and they told you these things and they teach you these things and they tell you this is the right thing to do, this God where cho- God chosen people, you're doing the right thing. But you deep down, because you have a conscience as a human being, you start feeling, you know, this is not the right thing to do. When you look at a child, you're still a human being. You it's still have a not, uh, to be honest, it's, it, it affected me really hard, man, to watch the children shaking and we are with the dogs in the house and the dog is barking and some of my uh, soldiers, they uh, like uh, say in Arabic to the people, stay at the wall, we're going to take pictures and mm. and like make jokes about them. Like, don't be scared, we're not going to kill you. It's... Mm-hmm. So I couldn't take it. I got sick one year. I got PTSD. Well, I can tell you is this. I can tell you, look. Allah can punish the people in different ways. And, and you, you understand this very well. You can see the psychological trauma or pain is far stronger than, than the physical. Yeah. Uh, that's why the Palestinians are free. People think they're not free, but they're free inside in their souls. You can see them, you know, they're free inside because they know there is an afterlife. You know that Allah is jealous exactly. for them. Allah is jealous exactly. protecting them. Uh, but, but this is something the Israeli soldiers will never have. That's why they will have fear. That's why they're afraid even of, of Hamas who don't have weapons, they will still af- be afraid of them. Because they, they fear death. While Muslims do not fear death, they fear the Creator alone. But you, the only way you can save your soul is by coming to, to Allah Azza wa and repenting and accepting Islam and trying to do good deeds in the rest of your life. The only way you can get forgiveness, you can seek forgiveness, is from Allah. Not from me, not from any other human being. You can go to any doctor, he'll tell you anything, it's not going to help you. The only person that can change your life, the only person that can accept your repentance is Allah Azza wa He's the only one who can forgive you. He's the only one who can change your heart. But the only way you do that is you have to accept Islam. You have to submit to Allah Azza wa Jal. You have to start following the teachings of Islam. You have to start praying. You have to start speaking out because you have an experience. You've been in the army. You can talk about your own experience like you're doing right now. Of you, of what these people are actually doing. Like what the Israeli army is actually doing to the people. You speak we about used to, We used to do terrible things. We throw in shock grenades into the houses and... We laughed and I can tell you a thousand stories. I need you to speak because the reason this is important is for people to see. Because, you know, there's a lot of lies spread in the media. You know, because since like two years ago, mm-hmm. I started to change in my mind. And I mm-hmm. felt in my heart what I'm doing is wrong. This mm-hmm. is not human, man. It's, mm-hmm. it's the devil. 
-hmm. It's you can do things like that. One one time we put a dog barking on a kid, and the kid sought to peace himself. Mm. And everybody left, and the mother was crying. And uh, what can I say? I'm just honest. God listen. He sees everything. He hears everything. I. But I wish, I wish God forgives me. I, I was younger then and I was not on a list. So. Wallahi, look, uh, the doors of Islam are open. Yeah, yeah. The doors of forgiveness are, are open. Of Allah Azza wa Jal. But they're only going to be shut when you die. And we don't know when we're going to die. Gonna die. If you want Allah Azza wa Jal to forgive you, I told you the only way. The only way that Allah Azza wa Jal is going to forgive you is that you repent. From the deeds that you did, that you did by accepting Islam, and now from you, from now on, trying to do your best to let people know what is going on, to explain. I to them would what lose. Is. I would lose every friend if I became Muslim. Do you I know what? You. you know. Do you know what you would lose if you didn't become Muslim? Yeah. First, the afterlife. first your sanity, and the second thing, your afterlife. Yeah. You can. You can pretend. Look, you can take medication. You can take no amount of medication you're gonna take. Is gonna cure what you've seen. It doesn't cure, brother. It just makes me go to sleep. That's what it does. Yeah, no, nothing is gonna cure it because people they do these actions. I don't know how some people in the army do these things. They do these actions and they think there is no consequences. Brother, many about. people, many people took drugs. That's but they don't tell that it may in media. Hmm. So yeah. They take drugs to so they can f not feel anything when they're doing these things. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We took we took Valium, Xanax. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we took cocaine. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Allah understand. Allah understand. So we become like more brothers when we was on drugs. We look. You're fine. You're a lot better than if someone wants to become Muslim in in a in a, like. Tel Aviv or something like that. If he wants to become Muslim there, he, he's got a lot of things to worry about. You, on the other hand, has has you are in a in a country where you shouldn't have a problem by by doing that by accepting yeah, Islam. Yeah. If it was the friends, no one can have a better friend or a, a better protector than Allah Azza wa Jal. And, and yeah, but I've yeah. just been scared. I don't want to lie. I, if I go and visit a mosque and take the shahada. Mm -hmm. I don't. I want to be honest to them and tell them my his his history. Mm -hmm. so you don't have know. to do the shahada in a mosque. You can do it right now. There is no need for you to go to a mosque to. Should we do it shahada. right now? We can do it if you're ready. If you want to do it, I can do let's it. Let's do it, bro. Are you sure? Yeah, let's do it. I'm okay. gonna. Let's do it, inshallah. It. We we'll do it in English first, and then we'll do it in Arabic, inshallah. Okay. okay. So say after me. I testify. I testify. There's nothing worthy of worship. It's nothing worthy the worship. Except worship. Allah. Except Allah. And I testify. And I testify. That Prophet Muhammad. That Prophet Muhammad. Is his messenger. Is his messenger. And servant. And servant. We'll say the same thing now, but in Arabic, inshallah. Yeah? Okay. Say Ashadu. Ashadu. An. An. La. La. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasul. Rasul. Allah. Allah. That's it, brother. It's like you don't need to go to a mosque. You don't need to go to anyone. You go to the creator. You go to the creator who, who sees you testify because you're testifying for God. If you say you worship, you believe in Allah. He's the one worthy of worship. You believe Prophet Muhammad is his messenger. You believe the Quran is from God. You believe in the prophets of God. You believe you need to do good in your life. You want to seek repentance. You need to seek forgiveness from Allah. That's what matters. We, to us, you are our brother in Islam now. What Thank happened you, in your brother. past happened in your past. And look, I'll, I'll say this because a lot of Muslims, this might do be you know? Do you know any prayers before you go to sleep? Because I got much flashbacks. From yes, brother. War. Yes, yes, yes. There is many. And, and, and uh, you, you need to send me your, your information, inshallah. You need to send I will me your send information. my uh, email on the chat. Yeah, I'll, I'll, okay, put your email, inshallah. Or, 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 okay, you put your email, I'll try to contact you. Okay, brother. Instead of you contacting, put your email, inshallah. Okay. Or, or, can you get my email if I put my email instead of you putting your, yeah, I don't want put, anyone sending you anything. Let me put can my you email. Can you put instead. it on the chat? Yeah, I'll put it.
instead of someone okay. else putting putting uh, <coughs> sending you something that is not good maybe okay this is the email can you take a screenshot yeah I took a screenshot Sorry. okay look brother this is what i want you to understand look right now you're a muslim from our point of view if you're talking about friends muslims open their doors for everyone and i want this a lot of people to understand this that even the muslims watching this we don't look at someone's past before they accept islam some of the companions of the prophet was trying to kill him before they accepted islam they were they were attempting to take his life which is greater than anything you would do to kill the messenger yeah, i've read i've read he he lived a very tough life yes muhammad peace be yeah. upon him and when they accepted Islam, he told his companions, the same thing I'm going to tell you now, is that Allah Azza wa Jal forgives the sins, of the past and, and the mistakes that you did. But you have to change your life, brother. You need to fix things mentally in your mind. You're talking about prayers. That's a good thing to look for. I'm going to send you, inshallah. You just email me. You email me your details. I'll connect you with people. I'll send you prayers to say. I'll send you how to pray and all of that, which is important. You need to change your life into the right direction through doing that. You, can, you cannot change you your can, life through the right You can see here. Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe you. I believe you. I know. I know. Yeah. Everything medication. This is a psychological issue that you, that you will need to deal with yourself. You need to confront yourself with this issue. You need to understand that what you did was wrong. You need to seek forgiveness. And the only one who can change your heart and pure and cure your heart is Allah. Bro, bro, I'm scared, you know, for things I've done. I'm scared God gonna punish me, you know. And and it's not only me, more people are turning against Zionism. Mm -hmm. Look, many brother, of my Allah of, says of, in the Quran. many of my friends I told them to call you up because they also feel not good. And they seen things and done things, God forbid, that, you know, mm -hmm. they shooting people with sniper. I have seen a guy throwing stones. They shoot him simply, just kill him on the spot. Mm -hmm. So, You know, Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, brother, I want you to understand this very important thing. Allah Azza wa Jal is a Rahman al Rahim. He's the most forgiving, the most merciful. Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٍ If my servants ask you about me, I'm near. I'm near. Is it, is it written in the Quran about it, yes. that, that it will come uh, hard times for Muslims? Yes. Allah Azza wa Jal tells us in the Quran, in, in chapter 2, that Lanablu Anakum will test you with, with loss of life, loss of uh, uh, hunger and fear. will test you with these things. In fact, Allah Azza said that the people, children of Israel, will take the, uh, the masjid, Masjid al Aqsa, from you and they oh. will cause great corruption. All of that is written in the Quran, chapter 17, you can read it. So Allah has told us that, that we will be tested, afflicted. Allah said, Even that, so we can return to Allah Azza wa So not only you are returning, but Allah is sending. Because Allah has different soldiers, and some of these soldiers are much stronger. Like fear is a, a stronger is a is a soldier of Allah. Fear. Placing I got fear in brother. Heart. I got brother. One last question. Hmm. I use an app. It's called Musa. Hmm. It's a map for marriage, Muslim woman. Hmm. Is it uh, a sin to use such a map uh, app? Sorry. Whatever, whatever you done before, brother, don't worry about that. I know you're talking about must match or something like that. That is the name. Yeah, match. Yeah, 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 yeah. But that, that app is very problematic. But the thing is, this is not 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 to worry about. That's in the past. Don't worry about it. Use the original. It's not a big deal, inshallah. It's a small. I small can't thing. believe you I look took it. the shahada. I can't believe it. You know, <laughs> you, you can. <laughs> you think when I added you, you're a Zionist? I don't think. I don't even think that we're gonna get to this point. You know, but this is Allah Subhanallah. This is Allah Azza wa Jal's plan. Wallahi, this is Allah's adjustment. And it's it's we I believe that too. Nothing happens without God allowing it to happen. And and this is like we as Muslims need to always understand this. Uh, forgiveness is in the hands of Allah, and we we don't we are not the ones who determine who we forgive or who we don't forgive. We are we are not the ones who we say, okay, you did this in your past, we're not gonna forgive you. This is not only, in our hands. It's in the hands only of Allah God, God can judge me, yeah. Okay, brother. Okay, uh, send okay, me, send brother. me, send me your details, inshallah. Send me your details. I will, I will, I will. I will keep in contact with you personally, inshallah. I keep put on the chat my uh, email. Yeah, no problem. I see it in the private chat. I'll take it. I'll okay, keep it. I'll brother. keep in. I'll keep in contact with you, inshallah. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Okay, brother. Thank you. Bye, bye, brother. See you, brother.
Allah Azza wa Jal guides whom He wills, uh, brothers and sisters. Allah Azza wa Jal guides whom He wills. And uh, yeah, we need to understand that you see, subhanAllah, these, these are things we don't see. These are things we don't see. Like this is these are things the media will never show you. It will never show you what actually psychologically happens to these soldiers. Because we've seen the videos. We've seen what happens to the Palestinians. We've seen the amount of massacre that is taking place today. And in the end, the people who are doing these massacre, massacres are human beings. Like they, They're not like... A, uh, no, they still are human beings, so they have a psychological mind, and that psychological mind will be affected by the actions that they do, by these things that they've done to these children. It will, it will be affected whether they want it to be affected or not. And Allah Azza wa Jal can send His different types of soldiers, whether that be fear, whether that be psychological pain. That, that no matter how many medication, look, this internal struggle you cannot compare it with anything physical or external. It is far greater than what people can imagine. And they will, these traumas will, because you know you're doing something wrong. Children, you, you are frightening children. Why you, what was the point of frightening a child? Like a child is not going to fight you back. And you know that deep down and you can see their face. You can see their expressions. So you can imagine the amount, because he was saying, even his friends, you can imagine the amount of psychological trauma that these uh, soldiers are, are having because of the things that they do. And, and the afterlife is there as well. Allah Azza has allowed him to come back to, to, to seek forgiveness to try to to uh, rectify his life but many people will not come back and and no one can escape from from Allah Azza wa Jal uh, but make dua for him brothers and sisters like that Allah Azza wa Jal keeps him guided on the truth you know uh, because in the end we are still human beings and he regretted what he's what he's done and I don't know even what to say to be honest